Hi, my name is Colette Ardendorf, and I had the privilege of growing up in a Christian home. I remember at a very early age making a commitment um, to Jesus and inviting him into my life. And I remember it being a really special moment between my mom and I, and I remember my mom getting really tearful about it. And um, growing up, I was always surrounded by Christian friends and the church, um, which I think really was a privilege. It gave me a grounding in a spiritual life that was very, very special. I was involved with the youth ministries of the church that I was involved with for many years um, and had special camaraderie with the people that we grew very close together with. And when I got to matric and left school, my path separated quite radically from a lot of my friends. A lot of them attended Bible college and I went to design school, <laughs> which um, gave me a whole new perspective of life and things that I hadn't experienced beforehand. And I did, I think, what a lot of young people do and I took some time out from my faith. It wasn't that I had any doubts, actually. I still knew very clearly that Jesus Christ was my Lord and Savior, and I knew very clearly where my life was rooted. I just felt like I needed to experience a little bit more. And along that path and after some time, I met my husband, Sean. And um, when we got serious in our relationship, we decided it was time for us to find a spiritual home. And um, we connected with our local church in the city at the time. Um, and it was a lovely church and there were some really lovely people there, but we never really connected to the church. And um, we would go on a Sunday if we woke up in time. <laughs> and um, it was never, it was more of a duty really than something that we longed to and loved to go to. And um, we spent a couple of years attending like that and we got married in that church. Um, and then I fell pregnant with our eldest daughter, Ella. And I'll never forget it. Um, one weekend, Sean was away traveling, and um, I woke up in the middle of the night with the name South Point on my mind. And being pregnant, I couldn't sleep properly anyway. I took out my cell phone, I kind of scrolled through it, and I went, oh, South Point, it's a church. And it was a Saturday night, um, and I decided to attend. I was very excited the next morning to attend this new church and see what it was all about. And from the very moment I walked in, I realized it was a different kind of a church to anything that I'd ever experienced before. And the message was so engaging and so relevant. Uh, the people were great, the music was great, everything was just absolutely perfect. And I'd come from a very charismatic background and Sean had come from a completely non-charismatic background. So we'd never been able to find a church that felt like it was a fit for both of us. And I knew from that moment that this was where we both would be able to find a home and be incredibly happy. It was a really, really good fit and it's something I wouldn't trade for the world. I was christened as a baby, so I never really felt it necessary to be baptized because I thought it had already been done, essentially. But when Sean decided to get baptized, and I realized that actually this was something that was really important that we needed to do, I got baptized as a public declaration that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior.